his vast and glorious career in acting. Our next guest played an Uncle Rufus, an Uncle Ray, an Uncle Julius, even an Uncle Buck. Now he finally gets to be dad on his new sitcom, The Upshaws. It's on Netflix now. Please say hello to Mike Epps. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Jimmy? You look good. You look fit. You look healthy. You do too, brother. Thank you. How's things? How are things going? I bet you are really happy to be out of lockdown. Man, I'm so happy to be out of lockdown. Man, it's it's like home detention, man. You know, mm -hmm. without the ankle brace. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless yeah. you're stylish, then you wear it for no reason. You know. Yeah. Were you getting stir crazy? I was, man. I was just going back and forth to the grocery store. I'm like. I think I went to Whole Foods a thousand times a week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I got so cool with the workers. I was like, hey, how you doing today? <laughs> they, when I first started going, they was like, oh, man, Mike here. I start going out there, he's like, hey, Mike, how you doing, man? <laughs> Mike, would you mind loading some of these cans on the shelf? <laughs> you are back on the road doing stand-up now? Yeah. How, are people really excited to be there, or what's right. it? Or are they uncomfortable? What's it like? You know what, Jimmy? It's scary fun. It is. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you 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 want to get back out. You want to make people laugh, but you're still thinking about, you know, you can get sick. Mm -hmm. But I'm loving it. I, I, so far, I've gotten away with it for about ten times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time I make it back home, I'm like, woo! I got away with it again. <laughs> And the people who are just laughing at everything, you know, <laughs> really, <what I> mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. I crack nice. a joke, and people say, "Ah!" I'm saying to myself, "I know that wasn't funny, right there." <laughs> <laughs> They're just happy to get out too, I I'm guess. Happy to get out, man. Your family, uh, are they? How is everybody doing in your family? Everybody's doing good, man. Yeah. You know, my kids is uh, back in. One of them goes back to school, and the other one's scared to go to school. So oh. it's a little better than the virtual school because. Uh, one of them got suspended from virtual school. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> how do you get suspended from virtual school? <laughs> they said she wasn't dressed right. She was coming to, with a blanket. They was coming to school with a blanket on. So, you yeah. know. What is the punishment for being suspended from virtual from school? From virtual school? Uh, I mean, I guess you can't come to no virtual classes. You can't come. To... <laughs> uh, hey, you know. I would love to have gotten suspended from virtual school back yeah, in the no day. Yeah, no kidding. I know. I, you know, I was talking to somebody yesterday, a guy who works here, and he said his son <laughs> is bummed he has to go back to school. And, it, and I was thinking, yeah, I would be more than happy <laughs> to have gone to school in front of a computer. Man, back in the day, right? Oh. Some of them teachers I had. Oh, God, yeah. Breasts smell like coffee and cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was your least favorite teacher? Do you remember? Man, I had a... I had a teacher named Mr. Cook, man, and uh, he used to just curse me out all the time, and then he would loan me lunch money. Really? Yeah. That's not bad. He'd he make me feel real bad in front of all the kids and stuff. And oh, you're going to be working at Hardee's. Y'all probably don't have Hardee's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we know yeah, Hardee's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're probably going to be working at McDonald's your whole life. And then when all the kids leave, I said, Mr. Cook, give me a dolly. Yeah, you want a dollar right here? Yeah, you got... <laughs> so I said, I better get cussed out today if I want to eat lunch. <laughs> you, um... Oh, by the way, happy birthday. You turned 50 since I saw you oh, last. Oh, man. Over... Don't the... remind me. Don't remind me. 50, man. Is it that bad? Well, 50 ain't bad, but, you know, you know, during the COVID-19, you know, during the pandemic, I started buying all of these cars because it wasn't nothing to do. Really? Yeah, so I was just buying cars, and my wife was like, that's going to catch up to you. And I'm like, no, it's going to open back up. I'm, let me have some fun. <laughs> so now I'm selling them. I got a Bronco for sale if somebody want to buy it. Right Are now. you really selling them? Uh, <laughs> yeah, my wife is making me sell all the cars. Is she really? Yeah, yeah. she's like, hey. How many cars did you buy? Man, I bought about four. But, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> So you are just, you decided, hey, we got nowhere to go. I should buy some cars to not go there in them. Yeah. She was like, you better watch it. It's, it we're not opening them back up. I said, yeah, of course we're going to open back up. 
Now I'm selling all of them. They all for sale. <laughs> did you guys have a party for your birthday? We did. Well, we didn't have a party. I, I actually didn't get a chance to have a 50th. I wanted to have a big 50th, man, yeah. but, you know, I had, my wife did the best she could. She recorded all of these different people and put it all on a recorder of saying happy birthday. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Did, was that good? I, you know what? I've done a bunch of those. I've recorded those for some people, and I wonder if that's just <laughs> depressing or if it's something that you really like seeing. Yeah. I mean, it can be, it could be good until the wrong person pop up. Oh, really? Yeah, man. I, some of these people, I could, I'm like, ask my wife, where did you find this jerk at? <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of the people was just like, hey, Mike. And I'm like, wow. You know, and all the people that, uh, you know, that <laughs> borrowed money from me over the, they were the only ones crying on the thing. Really? Yeah, they, were, <laughs> they were so emotional. I'm so happy for your birthday. <laughs> they wanted me to give them a break on that money. But yeah, right, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, this guy really loves me, huh? <laughs> Did you find that more money they owed you, the more tears were shed? Yeah, the more, <laughs> yeah, the more tears. I said, this dude must really owe me some life because he didn't cry. I mean, I, one guy was giving me a shout out and he had a plumber at his house. And the pl I didn't even know who the hell the plumber was. He was like, hey, Mike, I like all your movies. I said, oh, man, I got to get up off here, man. Did you have any of your, uh, like, celebrity friends did your wife get to yeah, be on the thing? I, I had I had LL Cool J. Oh, that's good. Dougie Fresh. Oh, and, nice. Uh, um, no Slick Rick? No Slick. I wish I had Slick Rick. Uh, uh. Dr. Fauci said something for me and uh Did he really? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that what he was doing? <laughs> Because <laughs> I know the next thing he was going to say, where the hell did Dr. Fauci know you from? It seemed odd. It, it did, did seem it odd. Seemed... It struck me as, yeah, as unusual, I unusual, will say. Unusual, huh? Yeah. yeah. OK, so you got a little, you got a video. That's it, huh? You got a video and some cards that you now have to sell. Yeah, yeah, I got a video and some cards. And, you know, I'm a big Colts fan, so Indianapolis Colts, they sent me from something for my birthday. Shout out to the Indianapolis Colts. Nice. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, did you? Yeah. Now, you got this new, this is interesting, this sitcom that you're doing. This is something that Wanda Sykes created this show yeah. with you in mind, correct? Right. Well, I brought the idea to Wanda. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I, I brought, I, I owe Wanda some money. And, uh, <laughs> I said, I better go ahead and bring her something to replace the money. But any, no, but, but I brought the idea to Wanda. You know, I was thinking, Jimmy, I said, you know, as an artist, we're always thinking about ways to create television shows. And I was sitting back, you know, me and my manager, Dan, and I was thinking, I said, man, you know what? We ought to do a show like one of the old school shows, you know, the Severin and Son and, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, 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 what's the other one? Uh, There's a lot of them. Jefferson's. Jefferson's, yeah. yeah. Good times, Jefferson's. Yeah, good times, yeah. yeah. So I went to Wanda, I said, Wanda would be the perfect person because she knows how to cuss you out really good. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda, yeah. And she does on the show. She plays your sister-in-law that doesn't like you. <laughs> yeah, she plays, and she does a good job, And too. Kim Fields is your wife on the show. Oh, man, Kim is incredible, man. To, and to be able to get somebody like Kim Fields, who's a veteran in the sitcom game, I mean, and to have Wanda, and to have Regina Hicks writing, and the cast is cool, and the production, man, it's... It was a blessing, man. And it must be fun to be doing something that feels like something you watched when you were a kid and man. that you loved when you were a kid. I mean, I remember coming home from school. Every day I had a lineup. I had a full schedule of television shows to watch. Right. And at one time, it was like um, Good Times and What's Happening were, on, were the, the shows. That was the shows back to back. And then it would you be like Eight is Enough. And uh, yeah, we had like all these shows that would go one after the other. And so did you watch talk shows? Like, did you? Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. I still, I still watch. Oh no, wait, I don't watch them ever. I don't. So anymore, who inspired but, you? Yeah. So who inspired you? Uh, 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 Alan Thicke, more Alan than any. Thicke? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was about to say <laughs> Dr. I Fauci. You say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you love my gaps and who doesn't, The Upshaws is his new show. It's on Netflix yeah. now. Wanda will be here tomorrow, by the way. That's cool, my man. gaps, everybody, will be I'm back with you. madness. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.